They feed them extra heavy though, because uh, they do get to it. I got the camera on the nest right now. Yeah. I tell you what, I gotta put down the venom list or YouTube. I'm like, comment about that. Yeah, I can hear him talking to you. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. All right, buddy, here you go. Oh, there up here and he flew away. Look at that, there are four queens right there visible. Four queens. Those little birds that eat off that feeder, if, if they're around, they'll still stay on the ground, almost on right up to them. Oh, I know. They're pretty docile, those birds are. Look at that. One, two, three, four queens right there. We watch out. We'll have to leave before too much longer. How much longer do you think you need to be doing that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I know you want to get what you can. Right one time, the Karen Darrell says, I think I saw two nests in there in Mulch Yard. Well, almost pretty good size because the entrance holes is big and there's a lot of traffic coming and going. I had that, that lantana plant right there on the corner, mm -hmm. and I had the strangest brownish butterflies. They mm -hmm. stayed on that thing every day. And you said the bees like them too. Oh, the bees do. I had yeah. it. Well, that's what they tell see, you. They're is, all over it. They see that? Yeah, I see them. Uh, they tell you that plants, flowers, bee that, friendly yeah, plants, bee friendly, yeah. oh, and butterfly. Okay. I can tell you Karen's at work and Daryl's in bed.
I'll start my mask. It is. I saw another queen take off. Oh, did you see her go airborne? Yep. They're going that way. Yep. Toward the sun. Maybe they navigate. Uh, there's another one. There's another one emerging. Must be a pretty healthy colony because I just keep. There's one after another keeps emerging. Well, it's kind of protected back in there. I don't know what would bother them. Yeah, there's a ton of your stuff. Predators will dig a nest up and eat them. Uh, look at that, four queens. Boy, if the guys came to lay mulch, they'd get in trouble, wouldn't they? Yeah, they'd be getting some stings. I'd warn them, but they, they don't lay mulch this time of year. They won't do yeah. it until like the end of March. Yeah. Five of them. One, two, three, four, five. I saw a fifth one just started to come out, but she went back in. There's another queen going airborne. Here's this bird. Oh, here's, oh, she went right past you. So a queen go airborne, take off past you. So oh, another is. one. See that? There she goes. Uh -huh. That's the second one. They're not disgusting. No. They said we would be left with a huge disease transmission time bomb. Yep. This is Scientific mm. America. You get this, don't you? No. Oh, I thought you did. Yep. There's a male starting to mate with a queen. And see that he's Katie did. He's and mounting them. The spider's got the Katie did that. You want to talk a close up shot. Oh, hear that down here? That's the side of a worker mounting a queen. And up, there they go. Yeah. And this smart little girl who's, I don't know, she is turning banana peels into plastic. You might <laughs> want to read this book before you go. I can't let you take it with you because it's a library. Library, yep. Yep, comes another queen, get ready to merge out the other entrance to the left. She's 
See the other one on the right? On the left, there's another one that's ready to come out. See it? I do. There she comes. Gosh, there's a lot. That probably appears to hundreds of queens. That's what they do. They'll just they'll emerge and they'll mate. And, and just like you saw us too, they do depart. I see three queens right now. Yeah, here. This is one I... Reviving native bee species could save honeybees. They, they name a lot of these. Like, I don't know if you've ever heard of those that they're talking about. They're giving you their scientific name. You know, the problem is, you know, they can't cultivate those like you can honeybees. Well, they're thinking that... Uh, exactly like they're trying to get rid of the honeybees, what it sounds like. Said we have built a tremendous risk into our system. We're relying on a single insect. Well, and just, that's true. Well, See, just, it even shows you bees without borders and if they could get some to start moving around during different times of the year. Well, they said, you know, honeybees are... are the reason why they keep honeybees is because they're easy to cultivate, you know. They're, yeah. they're domesticated. You can't domesticate solitary bees. Well, you would you want a copy of this? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'll make a copy on my printer. Wow, look at that. Yep, I'll have to shut this off. Here's a wide angle. There it is. Hope you enjoy.